guys, uh, this is Grandmaster Timur Gareev. Uh, today we're going to be uh, covering the modern lines, the recently popular lines, and the classical lines of the Dragon variation. Uh, we're going to emphasize uh, a couple of games that have been played recently and learning best ways for Black to get the initiative. So we got the open Sicilian, knight goes to f3, g6, not g g6, because this is a uh, this leads towards the uh, accelerated dragon after d4, c takes d. Well, number one, there's there's some uh, sidelines, okay? There's uh, the queen d4, okay? It's generally the game is fine for black. Black has uh, enough uh, counterplay uh, attacking the queen right here with a knight. So after queen d4, here's here's some some possible. Uh, consequence right here knight f6 then uh, let's say a white pushes e5 here well then knight goes to c6 so here are uh, several responses now if white decides to play the queen d1 you know just basically expecting to go after the knight once it defines the, the square even though here, here black has, has some cool options, let's say knight g4, then bishop goes to f4 defending the pawn, and now like queen b6, you know. Uh, I haven't run this position with the engine, but it looks very, very attractive for black. Seems like black may be able to, to win this pawn on e5. But okay, so here, here's there's a little trick that you guys I'm pretty sure are aware of, knight e5, knight captures. And here we go. We got this this check right here. So like uh, lines along 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 uh, queen d4 uh, are, are kind of common on a sort of intermediate uh, advanced type level. So this this is something you guys got to deal with in this uh, accelerated dragon situations. So it's 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 a bit it's a bit different. However, after knight d4, this leads towards. Uh, um, Uh, situations uh, where white could play c4, for example, then then you go into Marozzi, or knight c3, and then bishop e3. Well, this looks very much like the lines we covered before. Well, that's correct. Knight f6. The only difference is that black hasn't played the uh, d6. Yes, hasn't hasn't committed this pawn right here. So uh, so that that's the difference is such that. Uh, black can can play d5 in in one run in certain situations. So white got to be a little careful. So white plays bishop c4, uh, castle, bishop b3, uh, and after d6, uh, white would have uh, uh, our our um, Yugoslav uh, attack variation set up here. So uh, I'm covering this guys uh, for, for you guys so that uh, you can learn and gain more clarity in case you're wondering what's well what's the difference between accelerated dragon that is described here well the difference is that uh, black hasn't committed to d5 there's certain options that we've discussed that are possible for white for example marozzi right here uh, so this is this is another different position so there, there's there's some major differences so those are uh, quite different openings but at the same time, let's say a white plays knight b3 in this situation, well knight f6, then it actually leads towards the lines that we're just about uh, to cover. This is one of the main lines. So let's go ahead and start with a little overview of what we're gonna learn today. So right here, this is hopefully the familiar territory, e4, c5, knight comes out. So we're going for the open Sicilian here. Uh, we're going to continue d6 as opposed to g6. Uh, we're going to see uh, certain correlations right there. So d6, uh, all standard. Knight comes out. So here uh, we uh, covered the f3 lines, the bishop e3 uh, lines uh, associated with the, the Chinese dragon. Uh, and uh, move 9 castle so here bishop c4 and 
castle right here those are the main lines we've covered in the previous DVDs along uh, together with